Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club for you. It's Steampunk Prowess by Chris Ortega, y'all. Steampunk fans, where are you at? Sound off in the comments. This is a square drill diamond painting, 68.9 centimeters by 96.3 centimeters. Very exact. Very exact. How are you all doing today? Happy Friday. Please don't mind my diamond painting over here. I did not want to move it. <laughs> I am working on it. And so I just wanted to keep it on the table. I hope you don't mind. Normally I get everything off the table, but ooh, this box is really full. Like it is, there is no give in that box at all. So let's go ahead and have a look. Got a little beat up, but in fairness, it was in a box with five other paintings. <laughs> so I'm surprised it didn't get more squished. Now, I may have to, I've never had to do this before, but let's see. I may have to open the bottom as well and push or pull or push. Okay. There it goes. Oh my goodness. Those drills are really, really tight in there. So here we have it. We have the diamond painting. We have the drills. Inside we have the sticker sheet that you could put on your box or in your journal. We have a toolkit and I'll show you what's in here. Mind it again. <gasps> I've got a repeat. Ah, so you get you get pen, tweezers, pen grip. Then you get some wax for your pen, some baggies. I can think and I can talk. Whoa! Look at that washi tape. That is so cool. It's like fake snake skin or something crocodile skin that's beautiful it goes really well with this painting we've got a little flower cover minder and then we have two of these multi placers as well as a drill tray and a spout cover so that's what I got in my toolkit today just remember that each toolkit is a little bit different uh, the washi tape and the cover minder will be different among most of them and please be careful with those tweezers you will get them in the square drill kits and they are sharp so let's have a look at the diamond painting this is a poured glue canvas and if you've never seen diamond art club before they license their diamond paintings so they get the artist's permission and they pay them for their artwork which is wonderful Oh my gosh, look at all those drills. These are all the diamonds. This is a very dark palette. There are browns and grays, dark greens, a lot of these mauve kind of colors. I'll show you more of these in just a few moments. Here is our legend. This is the sticker sheet. You can use this for containers. There are 65 colors. And there are two AB diamonds. I'll show you what those are in just a minute. Here's the original artwork. It is beautiful. If you haven't seen Chris Ortega before, please go check him out. He's amazing. Again, it's got all the details that you might need if you want to put that in your journal. And this is like a um, how to diamond paint. Uh, thank you tips and tricks and they have coupon codes for you if you like I also have a coupon code if you've never shopped at Diamond Art Club before and you'd like to save uh, Just check it out down below. No pressure if you don't want to use it, but I am an affiliate so that would totally help me out, but You do you so I'm gonna roll this backwards And Show you what the image looks like now. I have my camera completely zoomed out you can even see this TV that's been sitting in here for a while now <laughs> since I had guests this summer. But let's have a look. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All right. Okay. She's big, first of all. Oh, look at her face. So pretty. Okay. I'm, I'm rolling it up. I'm rolling it up so we can see it from top to bottom. 
we're going to have to take our time with this one. So as you can see, oh my gosh, that is a beautiful clock. <laughs> there is a lot of color changing in there. A little bit of confetti. The robot's face. Awesome. I love this background as well. It's kind of very, it feels like gold dust in the air or something. Then we have the lady who is the, the, what did they call her? They didn't call her a princess. I was thinking princess. Steampunk prowess is the name of the kid. She's holding a wrench in her hand. You can see that she's wearing like that kind of tip, stereotypical steampunk outfit. The goggles on the hat. Her hat even has a corset. <laughs> Very cool. The details in this are amazing. You've got areas where you're going to be changing colors quite a bit. And then you've got areas like in the background where it's very solid. This is going to be really fun to diamond paint. And if you haven't seen diamond art clubs before, I'll show you in the corner here. The symbols are super duper clear. They really are. I enjoy working on these because the canvas is cushioned really well and it just makes the experience really fun for me. I don't know why that feels so good, but compared to the hard canvases, it is a very nice experience. Here is her face, so you can see the symbols. The symbols are differentiated enough. I think that they are easier to read. You shouldn't have a hard time actually painting on this. I would recommend small sections. And I personally recommend working away from you. So I always start in the upper left. Please excuse my massive Udi, y'all. Not sponsored. Tonight is going to be a couch night. <laughs> but I usually start in the upper left corner. I work myself over in rows like this because I'm right-handed and I don't want my hand to stick on in the glue or to stick on the diamonds. It just, it doesn't feel good to me. And then when I'm done with the section, I can roll it over like this and just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. Sorry. I got a phone call. Look at her hair. Look at all the details. Like there's so many details to look at in this painting. I don't think that looking at it from far away is doing it justice. There's detail in the collar of the robot. I want to call it like a, like a guardian or something maybe, or who knows? Who knows this C3PO type fella. Um, and then we've got just, just the beautiful beautiful intricate details of her outfit I think that they're really going to show through and because this is just the rendering and this is not completed once those symbols go away and it's just color I'm telling you chef's kiss I think this is going to be incredible I'm really really lucky to have this I know it's a really dark palette so it's not going to be for everyone but if you like Chris Ortega's work and you enjoy a challenge, this one, this one, this one is going to be challenging, but the results are going to be incredible. So with that being said, let's go ahead and have a look at the drills. If you want to skip ahead and just see where those special drills are going to go, uh, feel free to do that here, but I'm going to go through all the colors for you. This is so heavy. Oh, and also I usually say thank you. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for sending this to me to share with everyone. I they know, they know, but I like to say it. I was sent this kit so that I could show it to everyone. Um, and I didn't have to pay for it because I'm an affiliate and they like to, sh to have me make videos for them. But I really enjoy the quality, like genuinely. I really like this company and that's why I continue to do this. So we've got 300, one of my favorite colors. 898. We have one, two, three, four, five bags of 898, which is kind of like this 
reddish brown. And then we have black. One, two, three, four, five, six bags of 310. Not too bad. Is that more 310? No. Okay, good. We have 839. One, two, three. So three more bags of brown. <laughs> Lots of brown. 3857. 829. 3790. And two bags of 610. 3371. This is the darkest brown that's available in DMC. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags. Eight large bags. That's a lot. 152. 3859. 167. 838. 3772. 3828. 975. 3858. 3858. I feel like I saw that earlier. But there's another bag of it. 154. 831, excuse me. 370 and 640. A random strip 3781. We have two bags and 434. A lot of brown. You better like brown. <laughs> 938. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bags of 938 as well, which is a very dark reddish brown. It's hard to White. I have a lot of lights on right now, but trust me. 3813. Here we go. Here's a little bit of color variation. We have 3829, 3861-400-436-414-3041-224-535-779-451-730. 730. Here's our first AB diamond. This is 129. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis and it has a translucent cover. Translucent? Iridescent, Rachel. Sorry, it's late. <laughs> 129 is our first AB. It shimmers. It's really pretty. The effect is amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out my completed diamond painting playlist and take a look at the diamond art clubs that I've completed in the past. And you'll see them. It's gorgeous. 498, 317, 413, 452, 780, 301, 3779, and 3771. And last strip. 3826, 3853, 106. Here's our other AB. It's a pale white. Kind of, or an off-white, like an eggshell. 3046. 3345, 3829, 161, 356, 823, 3022, 415, 355, 3750, 993, 3766, 3770, 3752, and 420. So let's go ahead and see. Number, the ABs are number one and number two. I'm going to have a look for both of these symbols as we go down the canvas. I see them in the highlight here in the face of our friend right here. Twos on the sides and one right in the middle. There's a few twos in the goggles. A little bit of two here at the very top of his head as well. There are some twos in her bracelet. There are ones in the center of her eyes. Ones and twos and all the highlights on his armor. Also on her bangle. And there's a little bit as well on the wrench just to kind of bring out that very bright part on her belt, belt buckle as well. And that is all. So just those little highlights. That's why there's so little AB is because they are centered in these very metallic bright accents and in the center of her eyes which I think is going to be a really good idea because if you put an AB in a dark area your eye would be drawn to it 
And I don't think that's the point, right? So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Is this something that you would like? Is this something that you would diamond pee? Or maybe, maybe you have a friend in your life that this would be perfect for. I truthfully really enjoy Chris Ortega's work. And I think that Diamond Art Club is doing a great job to render it. This is a large diamond painting though. This could take several months to complete for a beginner. So I just warn you a little bit in advance that this this particular kit is probably going to be a challenge for someone who's just starting but go big or go home that is my motto <laughs> that is totally my motto so thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you have any questions leave them down below please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and i will see you all very soon in my next video take care everyone